all right guys welcome back and in this video we are going to be learning about the behind the scenes working of a web scraper or a web crawler that uses scrappy and how exactly does our python program that is called as a spider goes to this web page and extracts all of the data on this web page and if you have done even a little bit of web development you probably already know that every web page is made up of two main languages that is the html language and the cascading style sheets that is the CSS language. So CSS is basically used to beautify your web page and HTML is used to give a structure to a web page. And if you want to see the code or the HTML and the CSS that goes into making this web page, you can right click over here somewhere and click on view page source. I'm just going to show you all of the source code that goes into making this web page. Now what you see over here is JavaScript. Let's not worry about that. We are only worried about not even worried about we are just taking care or understanding where is the HTML attribute and where are the CSS attributes so if I scroll down and just to give you an example over here you can see that there is this division HTML tag that has a class inside it and this class has an attribute of a row or a spacing mini so this is what we are going to be concerned about and this is how a web scraper knows what to scrape so for example what our Python program does is that it goes to this web page and because it goes to this web page, how? We give it a link to go to. So this is the link that we want it to go to. And after it goes to this link, it looks at the source code. And then we say, hey, I want the title of the book. So it searches for this becoming over here. So we can search for this becoming by pressing CTRL F to find this becoming title. And we can just paste it over here. And as you can see, there is this HRF tag which says becoming Michelle Obama. And uh, so this is basically a data that is uh, that is basically inside the source code. Now we don't have to look at all of this source code when we are scraping the data. What we can do is we can just go to this becoming title over here, right click on it and click on inspect. And this will directly take us to the place where this becoming is written. So what our Python program is doing is that it first goes to this URL that we have given it and it takes out the source code that is given at this respective web page. After it takes out the source code, we have given it kind of an if condition. You can just kind of uh, for now understand it like an if else condition. So we have given it a condition that, hey, our Python program or the spider, make sure that you look for the h2 tags and inside those h2 HTML tags, try to find this class of s access title and take out the text from it. So what it does is it goes to the source code of the web page and then it looks for this h2 tag and then it looks for a class and inside this class it looks for s access title and uh, using this s access title it extracts the text that in this case is becoming and then it just takes this data and stores it inside a database that you are going to be learning about in future. But this is exactly how our Python program extracts data. Now you have to make sure that while extracting data that it has some kind of a unique property. So in this case, this becoming title, this becoming data has a unique property of S access title. So all of the titles inside this web page. So for example, if we go to this title and click on inspect, you'll be able to see that this title also has this class of S access title over here. So whenever you are scraping some kind of a data, you have to find some kind of a unique property uh, related to the element that you want to scrap. Now, if you go to, for example, this $23 or something and click on inspect, you'll be able to see that this also has a unique property of SX price hole. So what we can do is we can say, hey, our Python program, go to this web page or go to this link, take out all of the source code and find this span HTML tag. And inside this span HTML tag, find the class that contains SX price hole and extract this data of 23. And that is exactly what we are doing over here. As you can see, we are saying go to the source code, find the span HTML tag and find this SX price hole. Now, obviously this SX price hole is a class. That is why we are using this dot operator over here. If this was an ID, we would have used something else, but we are going to be discussing this more in the selector section of our video series. But anyways, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In this video, we learned how does our web scraper or our Python program goes to a random or a web page that we have given it the URL of and extracts the data according to the HTML element and the attributes inside that HTML element. 
So in the next video, we are going to be learning about something known as robots.txt. I'm going to be just giving you a kind of a teaser of what robots.txt is. So if I go to facebook.com and you can just follow along, you can also go to facebook.com and type in robots.txt and press enter, you'll be able to see the secret file inside Facebook, which basically says crawling Facebook is prohibited unless you have written a permission. So we are going to be discussing more about this file in the next video. So I'll see you over there.